Okay, so we're going to compare figure B to the original. And I want you guys to remember, just like when we were working with markups and markdowns in prices, the original price always went in the bottom of our, our ratio, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing is going to happen here. The side lengths for our original are going to go in the bottom of our ratio. We have a side length of three and a side length of four. We're going to put their corresponding side length from figure B with them. What goes with the three is? 4.5. 4.5. What goes with the four? Six. And can we reduce those? Yes. When we reduce it, we're finding our scale factor. And it makes sense that the number on top is going to be larger than the number underneath because this is an enlargement. Yeah. We're taking the original and making it larger. Okay, so how can I reduce 6 over 4? Dividing it by 2. I can divide by 2 and becomes 3 over 2. And then this one isn't quite as clear because of that decimal. Whoops, I put a 3 there. There we go, 3 over 2. What I could do is I can write the scale factor that we found here and I can cross multiply and see if this works over here. What is 3 times 3? Nine. Nine. And 4.5 times 2 is also 9. Nine. So our scale factor for the enlargement is 3 over 2. And our scale factor for the reduction is 1 over 2. So that means the original is 2 over 2. Mm -hmm. Which is really just equal to 1. So if we're saying the original is 2 over 2, it's also equal to 1, which is one whole. One whole is 100%, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's turn the page because now we're going to actually make something using scale factor. And hopefully you have access to a calculator. You're going to... Because now we're going to start using proportions to find new measurements that we can expand. So take a look here. This says create a scale drawing. That means we're actually going to be drawing something. And we're going to use a scale factor of 150%. Well, we've been doing a lot of fractions with percents. How do I write 150% as a fraction? 150 over, which means, is this going to be an enlargement or a reduction? We're going 50% more than the size that's here already. This is our scale factor. Can I reduce it? Yeah. Do I have to reduce it if I'm going to be doing cross multiplication? No. The next piece we need is for this arrow we need to know what the side lengths are of all the sides. This one down here is easy. How many spaces is it? Two. Two. This one going across. is 12. That means this one down here is also what? Okay. We also have to get the side length of this little tiny piece here. What is that? Okay, now the diagonals are confusing. You cannot count the side lengths of diagonals on graph paper like this. You measure it like a line? I'm going to measure a line from here to the tip. How many spaces go from this four. point? We end up with four. four. So now we need to do four different cross multiplication proportions to find our four different side lengths. So we're going to set this up as Remember, the original always goes where? On the, on the bottom. And it's going to equal 150 over 100. Because that 2 is our 100% of the original line. And if we cross multiply that, for those of you without calculators, I'll do it here. 2 times 150 is 300. Divided by 100, we get 3. That means. For the arrow we're going to draw on this graph paper, we're going to make a line that goes one, two, three. We just made this line here 150% bigger than this one down here. Okay? Now we have to do the same thing to find the side length for 12. Well, 12 is the original. 
We don't know what the new size length is yet, but we do know we have to compare it to 150 over 100 as our scale factor. This time we're doing 12 times 150, and I'm dividing by what? Yep, 18. And we're gonna count over 18 spaces. I'm gonna turn mine sideways, it's easier for me to count. And then we have, can do the other line to match it. My arrow is not going to be as straight and neat as the original, but it will be 150 times big, percent bigger. <clears throat> okay. What's our next measurement we have to find? One. one. So we're going to do one is equal to 150 over 100. Divide 150 by 100 and we get 1.5. This is where it gets a little tricky because we can't do just two, two whole lengths. We have to do one and a half. And up here we're doing one and a half. For numbers, can't we just find 50% of it and then add that much to the original? It's another way. I do want you guys practicing making proportions, so. We have one more to do and it's the four. Yeah, that's going to be hard. It's actually not going to be too hard because we're just going to draw diagonals from our points. Oh, yeah, because you have to make your point. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. So our last proportion for this, our original length is 4. We don't know what the enlarged one is yet. We're going to do 4 times 150 divided by 100. Six. Yep. So what we need to do, and this is where it's a little tiny bit tricky, we're starting from here and we're going to count six spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, and put the point there. And then I'm drawing a diagonal and just kind of connecting the dots. I'm going to do it this side. Yep, connect the two points. Pretty close. 